Available now for a great price at shop.tcm.com and Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us for Father's Day on Turner Classic Movies, where all day long we have a lineup of our favorite movies featuring memorable big screen dads. I would wish my dad happy Father's Day, but there is no way he's watching. It's Sunday. He's certainly watching the St. Louis Cardinals. Our next film is an obvious choice, a timeless comedy drama with Father's Day written all over it. In fact, the man of the house in the movie is known as Father Day from Warner Brothers in 1947. William Powell stars in Life with Father. Powell stars as New York businessman Clarence Day, a strict, stern, but lovable father of four sons and husband to the dutiful but savvy Vinnie Day, played by Irene Dunn. The script comes from an autobiographical collection of stories by the real Clarence Day, stories of growing up during the turn of the century with his father. The book was a runaway bestseller, and it wasn't long before it became a successful Broadway play. So successful, it remains the longest-running non-musical in Broadway history, running for more than seven years. The play's success led to the biggest asking price for screen rights at the time, a whopping $500,000. That's roughly $871 trillion in today's money. You can look it up with a fake calculator. William Powell tried to convince MGM studio boss Louis B. Mayer to buy the rights, but Mayer thought it was too much money. Fortunately, when Warner Brothers stepped in and bought the film rights, Mayer loaned them Powell to star. Powell's performance earned him his third and final Best Actor Oscar nomination. MGM also loaned out one of its up-and-coming young stars to appear in the movie. 14-year-old Elizabeth Taylor plays a young house guest who unwittingly stirs up trouble. From director Michael Curtiz in 1947. Here's Life with Father. 